Okay. Cool. So that's that's the little YouTube update that was basically me rambling for half an hour. Woo. Okay. That was way too. What is this? Did that change? That doesn't look normal. Hmm. Oh, let's see. What? I already updated it. Did they do it again? Oh, my Lord. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Will the announcement be on YouTube? Oh, yeah. It'll be everywhere. See the recent patch, recent patch of the Lord's Fallen? Yes. After eons of tyranny, the demon god Adir. Co won't be playing Spider Man 2? Yes, I absolutely will be. We're just like right at the end of this game, and I want to finish this game. Will you be playing the new Fears to Fathom game that just came out? Yeah, I might do that tonight, actually. Will you be doing uh, Return to Moria with the rest of the guys? So I'm going to play, we're playing Return to Moria in like 25 minutes, and I'm going to play that solo, and uh, see how it is solo, and then if I'm, if I want to play multiplayer, then we, we may jump in with everyone else. So we just got here, and I think this is like the last area. Ow. With my first shot, awesome. Ow. Yeah, I also very much know about the, um, I very much know about the Squadron 42 stuff. And I have not seen the video yet, so I may need to do that. Did they fix the drop attack on my sword? I hope so. Think code's a bit rusty? Yes. Oh god, you're not dead. Did I finish the P? I did. Feels good, man. Feels good. Thank you, VA. Appreciate you picking up something off the store. Thank you very much. Oh, my Lord. Woo! Avendor, good to see you, man. Any plans to play Fay Farm? I took a look at Fae Farm. They even offered me like a sponsor deal for it, but it just seemed a little, um, little too cutesy for me. I kind of, I kind of have a level of cutesy that I can deal with, and it seemed a little too cutesy for me. Yeah. The mechanics look cool and stuff, though, but it didn't really look like it was going to be my vibe. Games can be a little bit too cutesy, and they can be a little bit too anime for me. I can, I can, I can take a little bit. It can take a little bit, but sometimes it's a bit much. Yeah. Sometimes it's too much. Ko only wants to play the manliest and edgiest games. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm known for being manly and edgy. Yeah. That's, that's my thing. Okay, she cared not for my heavy attack. Edgelord Co., that's right. Got it. 
I did. I played Xenoblade. I played Persona 5. Again, sometimes, sometimes I can do it. Sometimes I can do it. It's been known to happen. This place is rude. I did like nothing. <laughs> Gotta do this, huh? Okay. Well, this is happening. Jit Old School says, welcome back, Co, with the highlighted message. Well, thank you, man. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. Oh. Just an answer, small calls. Playing along, singing. So, hey, yo, what's up? Oh, must be me looking for It even had like a whole cutscene warning me. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got no words. I got no words. No excuses, no words. Huh. Because that was that door. Let's see what's over here, though. Go got old? Yes. I am half asleep, dude. And old. good. Alright, let's go. I remember watching you when you were a wee lad. A wee lad! Oh, that's great. I appreciate it. Ow. Okay. Okay. 
Let's go in a big circle. I think I did. Hold on. Poker back, co guy. Thanks, buddy. Good to be back. Welcome back, Co. Sorry the vacation's over for the mods. I know. Thank you very much for the 5,000 bit cheer, buddy. Thank you, dude. Oh, yeah, man. Thank you, thank you. Did I enjoy my time in Vegas? I did. I absolutely did. It was a very good time. more enemies. Okay. So we opened this door. Can we like go across to the other side? Ah, here we go. Maybe? Maybe. Ooh. How is this compared to Lies of P? Uh, this one definitely needs a little bit more patching, but they're working on it. Um, but in terms of like the content and stuff, I, I've been really enjoying it. Yep. Rukov, can't wait to see all the new stuff that is coming. Thanks, Go. Absolutely, man. There's a lot of new stuff coming. Dunk. The Dunktitude. So much dunking. It's not open from this side. What does this do? Probably nothing because it's right there, right? Yeah, okay. So where does this go? Hmm. Oh. The shortcut? Oh, I think this is back near the beginning. Yeah, this is right back near the beginning. Let's do it. Go talk about the embedding rule changes. Uh, no, because here's the thing. Um, I do not want to prematurely celebrate anything. I think that the terminology they're using for the embedding changes is relatively umbrella. So instead of like being like, yeah, we did it. Look at us go. I'm going to wait until I actually see it take effect and I'm going to wait until it actually makes a difference. And then I'm going to celebrate because this is something I've been working on for two years behind the scenes. Actually longer than that now. 
So, yeah. I, I am going to wait until I see it before I start celebrating. I think it'd be wise for everyone to do that. That's involved, to be honest. But things are definitely, seemingly, moving in the right direction. Yep. What is embedding? Uh, embedding is when you use something that's not Twitch related to gain a completely unfair advantage on Twitch. So if you have like a major website that gets a lot of traffic, you just embed your stream into your website and then anyone that goes to your website adds to your Twitch viewers. In many cases, not even intending to. A lot of times the, the viewers in embedded streams will not even realize they're watching a stream. So it, it is it is 100% false number inflating. It, it, it makes Twitch think there are more people watching the stream than there actually are. And then that pushes the stream higher in the categories, which then gives the stream organic growth. So it's a, it's a very, very shady gray thing to do. Um, and uh, that's why I think a lot of people are, are very much hoping that Twitch seemingly is going to do something about it. There, And for the record, there is more than one site doing it. There are. In fact, when I was at TwitchCon, I had a very awkward encounter where somebody who is a known embedder walked up to me and started trying to justify it. And it was an incredibly uncomfortable conversation because he wanted me very much to agree with his perspective. And it got to the point where I was just like, we need to agree to disagree and let this go. Like, this is, this is not okay. Like, I was, I was, uh, I was not feeling that conversation. They were like, yeah, you know, we're getting a lot of unfair hate. And I was kind of like, I don't, I mean, I think it's fully justified hate. Um, I think people are very furious at you because they feel like you're cheating your way to success and that's their opinion and, you know, you can't really... There's very few arguments against that and... I don't know, man. It was... It was a... Yeah. No, for the record, it was not F Extra Life. Yeah. I don't even think they were at the con. I think they know better than to go to the con, to be honest. <laughs> I... <laughs> they would not have many friends at a Twitch con, let me just say that. Um... But no, it was it was someone else, and I'm not going to name them. I, I I don't name and shame. I don't do that. So, but I I will say that it was uh it was a very the thing that made I think it I think I think the thing that made it the most awkward was if they knew anything about me, they would have known how much I am against it. So to try to like walk up to me at a party and justify it is like, what are you doing? Um, this is this is weird. So. Yeah, it was, it was, it was very, very strange. Yeah, I've been, I've been fighting to shut down channels like that for a long time. And we'll continue to do so. Oh man, we are, we're in trouble, Chad. It was just a little too far off. Yes, do it. Hey, how was TwitchCon? It was good. It was good. Overall, it was pretty great, actually. Yeah. I can't help but envy his ability to sleep so soundly. It soothes him having you near, and I know how exhausted you are. This sickness. Can wait. The situation with those fanatics is precarious, and every day it seems the knife's edge on which Mornstead rests becomes thinner. I won't allow my weakness to be the ruination of my kingdom. It's not weakness, Bramus. You know that. 
My love, please. Not now. Let us just enjoy the moment. Bernard says, would you have it not count as a full view? I'm sure since they're viewing ads and some are converting to Twitch, it might be a semi-real stream, but shouldn't you count for a full view until they convert? The the only issue I, first of all, I, I care not at all if those channels are making money off ads on those platforms. That's whatever. I don't have any issues with embedding as a technology. I never have. If somebody wants to embed on their websites and utilize their success to get more ads for themselves, I feel the same way about cheating in single player games. I don't care if you cheat in single player games. It doesn't matter, it doesn't affect anyone else, that's fine. The issue is when those fake numbers put them ahead of hardworking streamers that have been doing it for years in the live views, and that's how you position on Twitch. The reason I'm successful on Twitch is because I've positioned my stream over the years. Embedding doesn't allow that. Embedding stifles that progress. The amount of streamers that could be bigger now that are not because of the embedding that's been going on for the last few years is monstrous. And it's like, and, and I don't think Twitch realizes how much they're shooting themselves in the foot by doing that. So what I would like to see, for instance, is the live page where, where new viewers go to find people streaming a game. The only numbers that should count there are numbers that are on Twitch watching Twitch. And then in parentheses after that number should be the number of people watching all over the platform. So that way it's like they get the ad revenue of the embeds. People can see if the embeds are working, but at the same time, the people that are really working their ass off to try to succeed on the platform, they're the ones that are gonna be getting in the live view, that kind of stuff, so yeah. Which is the most important part. That's the most important part. Migration is required. Yeah, I am not standing up today. I walked like 50,000 steps in the last week. I'm I'm good. I'm chilling today. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's almost time. Charred letter. We may have to finish this game tonight, chat. <laughs> Excuse me. Did I visit the sphere? I did not know, unfortunately. Oh. How many steps of those were staggeringly drunk? Like a solid 20k of them, I'd say. Solid 20k. All right. Boop 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 boop. Give me one second, chat. 